Well, it has been quite long since I last saw Nick. He had found a job in a big city and had left his hometown. We lost touch. But one day he called me and he said he was coming back. So there I was, waiting for him to arrive in the early morning. You're late. I'm always late, you know that. <laughs> it's been so many years. So, you finally decided to leave the big city. It was about time, but I did not come alone, my friend. Let me introduce to my wife, Nick. Hey, nice to meet you. Nick told me so many things about you. Oh, I'm sure he did. We spent most of our childhood together. So, are you still in the car business? Of course, my friend. Some things never change. And you? Are you still buried in chemistry tubes and mathematical formulas? Some things never change. <laughs> anyway, I believe you're quite busy right now. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Nick? How fast can time go by? At one moment, we were kids playing around with cars, and then, the next moment you know, your friend returns as a famous car designer and married to a wonderful wife. Honey, it's enough for today. Let's go have some rest. I guess you're right. Enough for today. I love you so much. I love you too, honey. But why do I tell you all this? There are so many stories about how powerful the human heart can be. A mother can raise a car to save her baby, if this is needed. And lovers are willing to give their soul for their mates. Passion, the strongest feeling of them all. This is one of these stories, and it all started with that gang. I remember that day. I woke up and I started reading the news when I saw this. The streets were no longer safe. They had strike again. I tried to warn Nick to keep his eyes wide open, so I left him a message.
Sometimes life is hard. But sometimes what the future designs for us can be even harder. He didn't say a word, but I knew that inside him there was a big battle going on. The doctor said that her situation was stabilized, but she may never recover from her deep coma. And that was the point where I really started to worry. I'm so sad about this. What can I say? Say no words, my friend. Only actions are going to matter from now on. Are you going to take revenge? Revenge is a small word for what I'm going to do to them. Them? I think you're looking for only one guy, Nick. What are you talking about? The leader of the gang. He did it. How do you know all this? I live in this town long enough to know who the bad guys are. But this guy, you know, he's the worst. Tell me, where can I find him? Well, I think he hangs up at the bar next to the central church. I'll be there tonight. Good luck. <laughs> You're gonna need it. the man who's gonna put you on the ground.
What the hell do you want? You know what I want. Because of you, my wife is in a coma. Hmm. That was an accident. Let me tell you something. Accident or no accident, you left here helpless in the street. I told you it was an accident. But if you really want to mess with me, I can manage a car race. But the loser dies. That will be you, my friend. Nick, I told you so many times that this is suicide. But... Okay, I'll be there. That's it? Get in the fucking car. That, huh? Hey, I was reading that, okay? <laughs> Well, Nick, you know, this car is not the best car in the world. Just get yourself a grip. You have some crazy ideas. Oh, shit!
if I can kill you. We'll see about that. There is nothing for you to see. Just raise me. Some things never change, or do they? This is our house. You don't seem to remember. You don't remember? No. Let's go inside. We need to take off those bandages.
I have to find out who am I. Ask me what you want to know. Are we married? Yes, of course we are. How many years? Three years now. Three years we are living in this house. In this house? Look, I understand that everything is so messed up for you right now, but you don't know how it feels to wake up every morning and see that the woman you love is simply not there. You don't know how that feels. The doctor said that it is a miracle that you're still alive. And I'm glad for that. But he also said that you lost most of your memory. He believes that this is not curable. But I don't believe him. I believe in you. So please try to remember. Trust me. Trust me so you can start to remember your true life. It's not possible. You're talking about my life and I can't remember a thing. What's going on? Everything will be fine. It's gonna be okay. I told you that this story is about how powerful passion can be. But what I didn't tell you is that sometimes passion can make you sick. When I first saw her, I felt something I never felt before. Strange thoughts entered my mind and I started having those weird dreams. I became obsessed. I tried really hard to get her out of my mind. I went back to my ordinary life in my science lab. But then something amazing happened. An idea strikes you like a lightning. And after years of researching, I finally found the chemical way to control a very specific human function. But in order for the chemical to work, it should be only taken after the patient has suffered a big shock. At that point, I realized that I could put my discovery into use. A car accident was the perfect shock, and I knew that I could blame the gang for that. So I came in contact with one of their members. This is half of the money. I'ma call you when we get it done. Make sure you don't fuck up. We never fuck up. After that, I stayed close. And waited for the perfect timing. In every plan, you have to take some risk. to report a car accident. After years of researching, I found a chemical way to alter or destroy a very specific human function. And that function was the function of the memory. But if I wanted to succeed, I had to take her husband out of the way. So I needed to create an enemy for him and control his anger. The leader of the gang did it. I knew that it was in his nature not to give up and fight to the end. But their passion is what finally killed them both. But the loser dies. The only thing left to do was to wait and hope that the chemical will eventually work. Hope that when she wakes up, her memories will be gone. You woke up. You don't remember? And that day came. Now I just had to play my role and make sure that nothing could trigger her lost memories. I always wondered what defines us. Is it our soul? Or just memories? People always think that they control life. They are always sure that they are leading their realities. But how can you be sure that no one designs your life?
What is this place? You love this place. We were coming here so often. And where are we going? We are going to our other house. Next to the sea. Don't you remember? Mm, not really. You're gonna love it. <sighs> you have to help me. Everything is like a puzzle. Let's start from the simple things. So, tell me. What's your job? I'm a designer. 